so sad. This pothos has to go. Oh my gosh, it is so wet. It is so wet right here. My yeah. socks are drenched. Yeah, I smell fish. You smell the fish tank. Oh, poor pothos. <laughs> Hi. Major part of the fish. They're predator. Are you a shadow's no foe? He's a friend. He's a shadow. He's a loving predator. We are your motivation. Keep you going. Our cheerleaders. Yeah, sure. This is draining. I'm gonna take this filter and put it over here. You'll see why in a minute or two. You want me to explain? Yeah, go ahead. Voice Ex over? No, do the mold explanation. All right. So what you're seeing here, this is mold. This is just a healthy, really mature bacterial colony that we're gonna save for now. And a ton of snails. Oh, a ton. So what's the game plan, babe? You're moving that over there to the other side mm -hmm. to do what? This is gonna help seed the new filter we're putting in. Like on this side, there was a title that we're getting rid of because it caused the flood. And by seeding, you mean taking? Basically, this is filled with bacteria that we need to keep the system healthy. So when we put the new filter over here, bacteria from here is gonna migrate over here. And what filter are you gonna put up over here on the side instead? That's called a matten filter. A matten filter. It's basically a big sponge Huge. wall we're gonna put on the side of the tank. I didn't know you could do that, huh? Oh, the weight maker? Mm -hmm. you put it on the side. Put it on the glass. Alright, take this out. This, yeah. this is gonna be a secondary, like a part two, doing the new grow bed, but if we run out of time today, we'll do that in another video.
Those are ram, ram's horn snail eggs. And what happens to them usually before they hatch? Uh, goldfish eat them. A little okay. escargot. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> that's why we don't have a overabundance of snails. It's population control. Basically. Because and if they, they will do hatch, then the goldfish eat them as you know, little tiny, tiny live treats. But also, too, some are born in the tank. We do have a lot. Okay. So why are you filling that bin up with tank water? We're going to transfer the goldfish into a holding container while we uh, redo their home. And that is also same method as setting up a quarantine tank. Yeah, basically, it is our quarantine tank. You want to grab one? No. You sure? Yes. Why? Well, it's not bad. I know, but... Just you... tickles. No. <laughs> A little tickle, tickle, tickle. No. So we're also filling that bin so the fish aren't as stressed out and moving from this tank to the upstairs bathroom. Drain all the air. Poor guys. Um, they're fine. I know, but still, excuse us, excuse they're us. nervous. Move all this tubing. I know I just made a mess for myself. <laughs> all right, woman. The fun begins. Now, if you're gonna grab fish, make sure your hands wet. Come here, Lil. It's okay. It's okay. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. Come here. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. You see them cuffing themselves. They do slip out. Or if they do try to slip out, you're saying? Mm -hmm. Come here, you don't because want to grab your, grab your eyes. I put my hand in between his big eyes. Oh. Come, good job. Okay, let's get you from over here. You're like, what's going on? Help me, help me. I'm a me. fish. Okay, you. Oh, nope, nope, thank you. Now, I'm sure you don't want to grab one. I'm good. Sure? I don't want to drop it. I know I'll get too squeamish. Oh, no. Your instincts, maternal instincts will kick in. Well, that's very sweet of you, but still. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm just giving them a nudge. I'm not hurting them or breaking them. They'd go into their shell if they were in pain anyway. Cold. Was that two at once? That was two as once. Oh my goodness. So this is a temporary setup for a few hours while we get the tank set up downstairs. And you're just pouring some more of that tank water in mm -hmm. from the tank just to seed this temporary tank up. Mm. Lower the temp some. Oh, got it. Up here is a little warmer than downstairs. Oh, yeah. so you don't want to shock them? Yeah. They're doing good. All right. If they weren't doing well when you first poured them in. They'd be at the top gasping for air. They'd all be huddled in a, in a corner. And belly up. Or not moving a lot. Yeah. This tank, or I'm sorry, this filter right here, even though it's not going to be on the tank downstairs, it's on this right now. So 
they one have air flow oxygen right mm -hmm. and then also two filter it, it filters out their waste but on top of that it'll also um have beneficial bacteria it's to already seeded So what are you doing that for? I'm gonna move all these rocks over so we'll have room for the filter, the matten filter, get all that gunk. Oh, gunk, good bacteria. Wish I could see now. I know. <laughs> I have to do a flood and drain just to clear the clear the tank up. I smell the <laughs> anaerobic bacteria, but it's not that bad. Not that bad. Considering we don't do gravel backs that often. Mm -hmm. Like once a year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, I definitely smell it. There's no hiding that. to get as clean as possible. Why are you trying to smooth it? Can't the, or can you just technically put the mountain filter on top of all that? No, Why you're gonna, not? you're leaving pockets. I think of it as a vacuum. You're sucking water from the front to the back. Uh -huh. If it has room to bypass, it's not being filtered. Uh, Water is gonna, you know, travel. Least resistant. Least resist. Uh -huh. Like some would still go through the mountain filter, but not as much that would if you just put it all the way down to the glass. You're yes, seeing. exactly. All right, so now, let me take this out, it'll be easier. Ugh. I'm gonna put this this is what's going to be powering the matte and filter. It ain't the best looking, but it's going to work. Okay, so we're putting that in there. A suction cup down. Yep. Baby, look really cute. Thank you. All right. Put it there so it's not grinding on the glass when it's doing its thing, you know. Grrr. All right. Take this puffy board, just put it back there, toss it back there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's going to go behind the big foam filter. Mm -hmm. Just making sure it's popped down. You don't want this popping out the water. Back to round zero. All right. This is where all the filtration is going to be happening from now on. What is this? What's the it power to? cord for the... Okay, I need it. Pushed all the way to the end of the glass. Okay. That way. Yeah. Thanks. Ouch. Come. You want it real tight. Mm. That's what he said. Ah, yeah, I did. There you go. Perfect. Now we're going to push it up against the... There you go. Oh, wow, I'm here. Okay. Uh, I'm getting it all the way down to the glass since so, it's so tight. Yeah, there you go. Just once again, making sure there's no way for water to bypass mm -hmm. the foam filter. Yes. 
And I even put a little... What is this? You can't see it now, but you'll see it when the water clears up. Alright, I need this guy. Because it's going to be back here too, so I want to make sure there's room. So that is what's going to pump up to the top grow bed, right? Yes. What's this going to do? That's, well, that's the pump behind this. This I'm going to attach another tube to bring it back to the front. Oh. Yeah, you need water. So basically Circulating. A, there you go. Water. Bad water, good water. Are you still going to have the Clamps. wave maker on here? Yeah, on the other end to push oh, water this way okay. too. Oh, hmm, okay. All right. Yeah, well, a wave maker is just to keep things on. I trusted you so much. You just came up with a plan and I was just like, okay, let me get go. my camera. Put these back. It's kind of nice this tank is away from the wall now. Yeah? For Yeah, for you to do that maintenance oh. just now. I need that. Just making sure you know. All right, I'm going to clamp up, clamp these up. And then, yeah, I'll do it from back here. Let's get these clamps done. How easy to that was? Yes. Excuse me, What not? Yeah, the little particles. And this is pushing the water that way. This is the wave makers pushing it this way. So you see it is catching a lot that's coming within range. Yep, and so, snails are already yeah. on it. So don't worry about uh, it's not gonna ever stop. It's doing a good. My favorite job. part about the matten filter mm -hmm. is that you always mention when there's babies, then, yep. they feed and graze yep. off of the all matten. This, can you see this? I'm gonna zoom in. All this stuff right here be food for babies. Mm hmm. For the little right. baby. That's what I wanted in my tank, because my tank's stuck full of baby. This is the safest way to the net is not really good yeah because one time i remember we were using the net and uh we were doing it so safely but one of the fish mm -hmm. got stuck in it their like their fins. fin yeah yep. and its fin was forever messed up after that mm -hmm. and you were being the... gentle it's just their fins get caught in the 
netting. I'd rather use hands. So, babe, we're not going to feed them tonight? No. And we're going to feed them tomorrow morning instead? Why would you recommend that? Because the ammonia, you know, when, like I said, whenever we do a water change, there's always a little bit of ammonia because of what we have in our water system from the city. So, basically, chloramine is chlorine and ammonia together. Yeah. And when we separate the chloramine uh, with the citric acid, it separates into chlorine and ammonia. ammonia. The chlorine off gases, but the ammonia stays in the water. Yeah. So well, that's... The, the, the ascorbic acid neutralizes the chlorine part, but leaves the ammonia. Yeah. That's why we always be careful when we do water changes. We have not a loss yet from that. So. so, but your thought process is don't feed them tonight. Yeah, because we want the ammonia to be uh, converted. And we want to give a chance for the beneficial bacteria mm -hmm. colonies in our tank to catch up yep. with uh, what was there before, yeah. basically. Yeah, and if you're feeding them, you're just adding more ammonia. And we still haven't given the beneficial bacteria time to catch up, basically. Yeah, look, they're eating off it already. Oh, yeah. Just nibbling. See, they're just eating all that moam right there. Look at them. See, the goldfish, they'll poop and eat their poop. Yeah. They just keep breaking it down and breaking it down. But that's why it's recommended not to eat goldfish because they're yes. bottom feeders and they eat their own poop, so yeah. they taste like what they eat. And that's yeah. why like salmon is so good because they're at the top of the food chain when it comes to fish mm -hmm. compared to these guys, which would more so be at the bottom of the food chain. Yeah, they just eat wherever. We just feed them from the bottom because they're prone to have swim bladder. But they're literally bottom feeders because look, that yeah. guy is eating fish or food off the ground right now. Yeah. And there's no food in there other than their waste. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Good job, babe. You're welcome.